everyone, I'm Family Circles Food Director Regina Rigoni and this is In the Kitchen with Regina. Today I'm going to give you some quick and easy tips for a really flavorful and moist Thanksgiving turkey. Let's start with the classic roast turkey. We're using a honeysuckle white frozen turkey today, but you can choose either their frozen or fresh variety. So if you're starting with a frozen turkey, you want to make sure you have enough time to defrost it. This is a big problem for a lot of people because they'll take the turkey out that day and it's not fully defrosted. So give yourself 24 hours per four pounds. After you put the turkey on a nice roasting pan, and we put four cups of chopped onions in here, and you could either do chopped onions in here or put quartered onions inside, you're just going to take some oil and rub it on the turkey. And this is basically what's going to brown the turkey and give you a nice sheen. And once you're done coating the whole turkey, you're just going to take it and put it in the oven, which is at 350. So we've had the turkey in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. And we're just going to take it out now to check on it and add a little moisture. So we're going to put a cup of chicken broth in here. And this way this will steam up and keep the turkey nice and moist. Now some people's ovens run very high, so you're going to want to tent this if you see the turkey getting brown so that it doesn't get too brown before it's done cooking. So now we're going to put this back in the oven, and it's going to be another three to four hours, and you have to check according to your time chart for how big your turkey is. And you can check on that every 45 minutes or so to see how the browning goes. Once you remove the turkey from the pan, let it sit for 20 minutes, and then you can slice it much more easily. Now, if you want to get a little adventurous this Thanksgiving, we have a great Tex-Mex turkey recipe. So all you need to do to get this great Southwestern flavor is get some prepared taco seasoning mix, put it in a sifter, and shake it over the skin and under the skin to get even more flavor on the actual turkey meat. And we've already put a quartered onion inside the cavity of this turkey, and that's going to give you even more flavoring. And you'll use about a quarter to a half cup of this seasoning mix. So once we've covered this with the taco seasoning, we're going to add a half a cup of water. And again, this is just to add some moisture. So while it's cooking in our oven, we get some steam. So the oven is at 350 degrees, and it's going to go in for about two and a half hours. Now our turkey should be about done, and this looks gorgeous and brown. And now the bird is all browned, and you have some really great drippings in here to make a wonderful southwestern gravy. So now we have our two great turkeys, a classic and a Tex-Mex. But I have one final tip. Your purchase of any honeysuckle white turkey product helps support their contribution of $250,000 to Feeding America, the nation's leading domestic hunger relief charity. Now that's something to be thankful for. This has been In the Kitchen with Regina. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.